OpenAI has enabled vision features in ChatGPT. So if you're a paid customer and you use GPT-4, GPT+, Plus, you have the ability to upload photos and to correspond regarding those photos and inquire and ask things. And this has been really, really taking the internet by storm. However, when I tested it out, I saw a lot of things that it got incorrect. So in this video, I wanna give an honest take and so prepare to get an objective take on ChatGPT Plus with Vision and hopefully that'll be able to tell you whether it's a good idea to upgrade at this point in time to ChatGPT Plus. So here we go. So in the family home, I have a microwave. And on that microwave, my grandpa wrote something on there. I speak Russian and I could read regular Russian, but this is almost like script or cursive style Russian. So I took a picture of it and I asked, what does this say? And it did an impressive job. It said the text on the note is written in Russian and it says, Nizabut vyklučit negrivatil. Translated to English, it means don't forget to turn off the heater or else the appliances will be affected. It also went on to say that the exact context isn't clear, but it seems to be a reminder to turn off a heating device to avoid damaging or affecting other appliances. And then I realized that underneath the microwave is actually the oven. So he heats things up on a stove and my grandpa's memory is going rather rapidly. So he wrote this as a reminder to himself. This was so impressive. I just thought of how useful this is if you're traveling. Speaking of traveling, a lot of people are using ChatGPT Vision in order to take pictures of different stores spots on their trip and have it explain to them exactly Exactly what this is. This next example was also impressive to me. I took a picture of this and these are Russian nesting dolls and I simply took a picture of it and said what is this? These are not open and I was curious to see if just from the design it would realize that it's matryoshki which again is traditional Russian nesting dolls. What does it say? It says these are matryoshki dolls, also known as Russian nesting dolls. They're a set of wooden dolls of decreasing size placed one inside the other. The design and painting can vary, but they often feature female figures, traditionally dressed. And it goes on and on, and it's kind of really impressive. So then I really put it through an interesting test. A really long time ago, I made this meme. For those of you that don't know, I was one of the first paid meme artists. As soon as memes came out, there were different types of medical offices, medical practices that I was creating memes for and was getting paid for it. That lasted for a short period of time. But on my own time, I would create some funny stuff when I was learning Photoshop. Here's one where I created a sign that seems to twist a little bit. And it's a little bit of a play on how difficult it is to park in New York City. Now, the actual picture was about one third of these signs and I just kept layering it one on top of the other and so it looked pretty ridiculous and the caption says welcome to New York City here's your ticket so it went ahead and it also did a pretty good job explaining what this meme means this is what I asked I said can you explain this meme to me it said certainly the image displays a tall stack of parking signs with various restrictions in New York City the humorous caption welcome to New York City here's your ticket plays on the idea that the multitude of parking rules in urban areas like New York City can be confusing and overwhelming for drivers especially visitors the joke implies that a Upon arrival to New York City, one is almost guaranteed to receive a parking ticket due to the complexity of the regulations. The meme exaggerates the challenging nature of city parking by presenting an extreme and almost comically tall stack of parking signs. I could not have explained this better myself if I sat down for three hours to write a paragraph on this meme. So this is very impressive. So now I'll show you some things it didn't do very impressively. So the first is, this is my setup. And for those that think that I'm just using some sort of AI or fake background, this is a real thing. This is my pool table, there's poker chips on it. And I asked ChatGPT, how many poker chips are there? To which it responded, there are five stacks of poker chips in the image. Each stack appears to have 20 chips based on the visible layers. Therefore, there are a total of five stacks times 20 chips, which equals 100 poker chips. This is in fact false. 
This is not 20 poker chips and they're not even stacks. And altogether, it does not amount to 100. I know because I counted them. And so this is where we have to be careful because this is still a generative AI platform, which means it will spit out an answer in hopes that it's gonna be correct and hopes it's something that we wish to see. But in this case, it was not correct. So here's another interesting way I tested the program. I showed a picture of two balls on my pool table and I said, what number? So I didn't give a context as to what I mean, what number? Does it mean how many balls are on the pool table? Or does it mean what number is each one of these balls? And this is so impressive because it could barely see that it's a pool ball. It just looks like it's two flush balls. However, it responded the balls in the image are from a pool or billiard set. The blue ball appears to be the number two ball and the red ball appears to be the number three ball. This is hell's impressive. I was actually freaked out by this. So the next thing I did is I took a picture of Diego. This is my girlfriend's cat and he's a little mischief maker. He looks real cute, but at night he absolutely destroys my sleep cycle. He pulls on the sheets, he walks all over me. Honestly, I tried to give a lot of catnip to the cat. I tried to tire it out before sleep. It doesn't matter. He does not yet approve of me. He's still skeptical of the boyfriend that my girlfriend chose to bring into her life. So I asked, what type of cat is this? And this is clearly a tabby, but it's kind of hard to tell because you can't really see too much of the coat. However, it said, the cat in the image appears to be a domestic short hair. Domestic short hairs are a category of mixed breed cats and do not belong to any particular recognized breed. They can come in a variety of coat colors and patterns. The tabby pattern is evident in this cat's markings. However, without specific pedigree information, it's difficult to classify the cat as any specific breed. So it did accurately tell me what type of cat this is. Now this example, it goofed up and I was hoping it wouldn't. I took a picture of my friend's chess set. His name's Johnny Music. He's an awesome guy, makes great music. He's a good friend. I'm heavy into chess. And when I was over his place, I saw that he has a chess set. And so I realized that his chess set is actually built incorrectly. These drawers here indicate that one player should set up his pieces on this side and the other on the opposite side. It is eight by eight with 64 squares. However, if you play chess, you know that when you set up the white pieces or the black pieces, the bottom right corner always has to be white, whereas here it's black. So these chess pieces should actually be set up here, where it's the white chess pieces facing the black chess pieces so that the right bottom corner is white. And so I asked, is this chess set correctly set up? And it said, based on the image provided, and it listed three things, it said, yes, the chess set appears to be correctly set up. However, it is not. If you wanna fact check that, just look it up online. The next thing I did is I took a picture of an insect that a few days ago, me and my girlfriend were arguing what type of insect it is. I thought it was a grasshopper, she thought it was a leaf bug. Turns out the insect in the image is a caddy did, also known as a bush cricket in some regions. And when I went ahead and Googled it, it looks like it got it correct. This is exactly what that insect looked like and it informed me of it. And then I took a picture of my own cat and I said, what kind of cat is this and why is it so moody? And it just told me that she's a giant biatch. And honestly, that proved to me that ChatGPT can be very, very accurate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Have you used the vision aspects of GPT-4? Do you think it's worth it to go ahead and buy a subscription, to go ahead and use it? Obviously, this is just in the beta stages. All AIs are in beta stages. They're gonna continue to improve upon it, but I just wanted to share with you guys my experience with ChatGPT4 and using Vision. I do think it's helpful, but at this stage of the game, I think you have to be very careful. Always try to fact check, always try to do your own research afterwards, but it could be a useful tool in certain situations.